competition. That currently has them in third place through three couples. Next up, representing the United States, Anastasia Canusio and Colin McManus. Fourth and final couple in group one of the free dance. These two had a nice start to the short dance, but they're certainly looking to make up a few more points. I think they were a little disappointed with that score, and I think this free dance is just where they can do it. Well, they're trying to take a creepy contemporary twist on a classic piece of music that portraying the story of a dead couple who comes to life after midnight and dances the night away, but must return to the grave when the sun starts to rise. interesting free dance this year perhaps one of those examples of a couple taking a little bit more of a risk stylistically I find it very interesting off the bat in this first section I feel as though they have to remember it's a waltz piece of music it's still a count of six so despite your interpretation you still have to emphasize that timing and that musicality just a little bit more Mike, with such a dark piece of music, it would be very easy to get a little over the top with the drama and the facial expressions, and I really appreciate how Anastasia is showing depth and change in her facial expressions. The first piece is a little more lighthearted, this piece is a little bit more dramatic, and it could easily have gone very flat the other way. So very, very good idea on them to be able to accentuate all the different layers of this music. Here's a really nice use of one of those new features with the leg outstretched during the twizzle. A little bobble in the middle there, but nice ice coverage. And this is a couple who has been doing that twizzle for quite a long time, so it's certainly in their favor that become a level of difficulty now. Oh, very effective choreographic spinning movement. That's the best use of that new element I've seen all season. Wonderful way to close out group one of the free dance, Anastasia Canusio and Colin McManus of the United States. You took the words out of my mouth. What a great closing movement. It highlighted the music 
It was exactly, I think, what the judges are looking for when they conceived this choreographic spinning movement. That was really, really spectacular and smart. It's just so nice to see a team be able to really capitalize with some innovation where it hasn't necessarily been completely developed yet. Yeah, that program was so well packaged artistically between the costumes, the music, the makeup, and then the movements. It really has a lot of potential, I think, for this season. I'm in full agreement. I think this is a great vehicle for them. It shows a side of their skating that I had never seen before. And in the past, they seemed a little bit more generic to me as a dance team, and this really, really individualizes them to my eye, and I'll certainly be looking forward to seeing them develop as the season progresses. But great, great free dance for them to carry through on. Take a look back here at one of the highlights of the program, this nice curve lift. Interesting arm movements appropriate to the music. Seamless entry and exit. It might not be the most creative thing we saw in the program, but it was well executed and shouldn't hurt them in any way in the scores. And again, the next lift, upside down position. And this sort of abstract line of position works for this type of program. It might not if it was meant to be this beautiful effervescent program, but it did work here. And I want to take a look a little bit at the entrance to this slip. You see she's on two feet, two feet, two feet, and they take off. That's a place where I think you can really add something to the difficulty of the program. You want to make sure that the complexity is there all the time, and there's no reason why she couldn't be on one foot, a quick mohawk, a quick turn, as he's doing all that difficulty around her. They're capable of that. So I think as they assess their program, they'll be able to add difficulty here and there in the transitions. Eighty point four seven for the free dance of Canusio and McManus of the United States gives them one thirty five point six one for an overall score in the competition that currently has them in second place as we are at the midway point of the free dance here in Chicago. There we took a 